Hey Fighting Night fans and welcome to another edition of the Nightly Review. I'm Morgan Goldstein with the Sports Information Department. First up, we are joined by baseball coach Rudy Garbalosa. You guys were so close against St. Leo, winning one out of the three games. Talk about how those games went. Those were really good back and forth games from a fan perspective, Morgan. Uh, some great baseball, back and forth, the leads, you know, we had leads, they had leads, we were able to come back and battle through. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they, uh, they were able to come back at the end and get the last one, you know. Uh, but uh, our, we're proud of our guys. We battled the whole weekend. We played hard. We kept coming back. Uh, and we're looking forward to getting ready to play our last regular season weekend, uh, you know, this weekend. You guys were seventh in a recent NCAA regional poll of the top six teams qualifying. What can you tell us about the Fighting Knights' chances for earning their second consecutive NCAA tournament bid? You know, well, after this weekend, we've kind of backed ourselves in a little bit of a corner, you know, and uh, we got to come out strong this weekend. You know, uh, needless to say that this is uh, a very important weekend for us, and, you know, we have to come out and play our best baseball and put ourselves back in that hunt and, and back in a position to, to be in the top six in the region and the top five in the region to, to make it to a regional berth. So uh, it's going to be an exciting weekend, and we obviously go to Tampa this weekend, which is uh, – a great competitor and uh, it's going to be a fun series. Like you just said, we will play Tampa at University of Tampa. Mm -hmm. What are some adjustments that we can make to defeat the Spartans? You know, when you go play, you know, they're obviously the team that's in first in our conference, the team that's first in the region. Uh, so what do we have to do? Well, we have to play, you know, our best baseball. That's really what the focus is going to be this week in practice for us as to prepare to play and bring our best game to baseball. You know, when you're playing against the best, um, you know, you've got to be at your best. And that's what our goal is going to be. Uh, they're a very talented, very competitive team. Um, and for us, this is great because it prepares us to go on to the next weekend and move on into the regional play. Just go, come on out here and play our best and prepare to be our best and move on and, and keep playing our best throughout the, you know, hopefully the postseason. All right, Fighting Night fans, check out LynnFightingNights.com for all of your baseball updates. And be sure to follow us at LU Knights on Twitter and Instagram. Good luck. Thanks a lot, Morgan. Thank you. Take care. We are joined now by Danny Randolph, who is the head women's golf coach. Congratulations. You guys earned your second consecutive NCAA tournament bid in the 12th in school's history. Your girls have put together a really impressive season this year by having many top three finishes. Yeah, we did a great job this year. Um, we're excited about the bid and heading up to Lakeland to play. Uh, it's been a, you know, a trying year at the same time, but our players have done a really good job because we've had a lot of ups and downs, even though we have uh, had some wins and some runner-ups. But you know, it's, just a, it's the nature of the season, especially the spring season, because it's a long season. But I'm excited, and they're excited to kind of get to this point of regionals, which is you know, something that you want to play well at uh, to advance. So we'll be playing at the Lone Palm Golf Course in Lakeland, Florida. The men have played there earlier in the season, and have they given you any reports back on how the course is? Yeah, we've talked to them uh, a few times over the last uh, six to eight weeks. I met with some of the players and coaches uh, after, our, or after they played the Matlock there uh, just to get some information, and then we had some of our players meet with the men's team last week just to get some more information about the course and what to expect, what to look for, maybe uh, some specific holes that may gave them a little bit of trouble so that we could be ready for. Again, you guys need to finish in the top three in order to advance to play at the LPGA International Legends course, which you guys have had great success there. What are you going to do to help boost your confidence to, qual to qualify for nationals? Well, I think we just have to have a good week this week uh, to get ready, and it's tough with trying to finish up school uh, with finals, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot going on in the next uh, few days. So we just have to balance that out, try and get in as much good practice as we can. And uh, like I say, continue to think about the golf course. What can we do in our preparation to get ready for that? Uh, but yeah, you know, having the chance to get out would be huge for us just because we've played LPJ Legends you know, quite a bit this year and we feel very comfortable there. The women's golf team competes at the NCAA tournament May 5th through 7th. Fans can get all the updates at LynnFightingNights.com and at LU Knights on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you. Now we welcome Andrew Dana to the Nightly Review, who is the head men's golf coach. Congratulations, the team earned its 11th consecutive NCAA tournament bid, which is the 12th overall in school's history. How does it feel to continue this tradition of excellence in the men's golf program as a first-year head coach? Thank you. Uh, glad to be here. 
Uh, you know, it, our, our men's golf program has a, a long tradition uh, of excellence, and uh, you know, I'm very blessed and thankful to be a part of it. You guys will be playing at the Mission Inn Golf Resort in Howie in the Hills, Florida. How do you think this course will play to our strengths? Uh, the, the Mission Inn, we're playing the El Campeon course. Which, uh, uh, it's an extremely difficult golf course, but you know, we, the, the plan is the same as it's been uh, the entire year. Uh, we take each golf course, we, do our, you know, we go through our normal routine, practice round, we come up with a game plan and we stick to that game plan throughout the entire tournament. I think we'll be fine if we just continue to do the things that we've been doing all year. This is the first year that the NCAA has expanded the qualifying teams for the national tournament. The South and Southeast Super Region now receive seven bids. What are your thoughts on the expansion? Uh, I think, uh, you know, our, the, way, the way it's set up, it's, it's done correctly. You know, the South and Southeast Region is a, is a relatively strong region as far as the you know, strength of schedule and the competitiveness. And, you know, it's based off of the previous year uh, championship. And the South and Southeast region had a, a very strong showing last year at uh, our national championship finals. And so, you know, I, I think it's done correctly. Do you think the team will lose focus now that they know that they only have to finish in the top seven? Uh, well, you know, I don't think these guys, I don't think our guys will lose focus. You know, we, we you know, so what, I've, what we've done all year, we stick to our game plan. And, you know, we try to, to work, we try to win each and every tournament and put ourselves in contention to win each tournament. And we view our region championship as another tournament that we're going to play in. So we'll stick to the same game plan that we've done all year. Fans, you can get all men's golf updates as they play in Howie in the Hills, Florida, Monday, May 6th. Be sure to like us on Twitter and Instagram, at LU Knights. Good luck.